Hey, would you tell me a little bit about what you've been doing when you've been coming here? Tell me how you used to uh, make the R sound. Tell me the color of your shirt, the color of your shirt, and tell me how you used to say Red. it. What do you say now? Red. Do that again for me. Red, red. Pretty good. And you've been working on that when you've been coming here. Can you think of any other words that you have uh, learned to say differently? What does a uh, bunny eat? Carrot. And what's another name for bunny? Rabbit. Which way do you did you say that then? Rabbit. Would you say it the other way now? Rabbit. Okay, that's a pretty hard one, isn't it? Uh, tell me about what you did for Halloween. Well, you know, we made we took a balloon and we made heads, big heads. We blew the balloon up, and we paint macheted it, and then we cut the tip of the balloon off. Then we uh, painted the face, and what well, I was an Indian, I had a feather and wool paint. And um, after that, we cut our mouth out. You can see out of your mouth. I <laughs> wonder if you'd like to say some names of some pictures for me, uh, yeah. um, John. Why don't you start Robin. up here and go all the way around? Robin, raspberry, radishes, rabbit, ring, rose, rooster, lake, ribbon, reindeer. Okay, what color is that? Red. What did you learn about hearing? I just learned what it's not go through. Can you explain to me what you learned? Well, I learned what part of it you could, what part of the ear could be caused of hearing loss, and what it's starting to go through. Okay, explain to me what part of the ear could be caused, could cause the hearing loss, and how the sound goes through. Well, the sound goes through the canal, and then it goes to the ear jam and it vibrates. Then it goes to the three small bones. It vibrates, and then it goes to the cochlea, and it sets into motion. And then the sound goes down the nerve, and the nerve takes the brain. I'm planning on teaching home economics in high school. Mm -hmm. Would you have ever gone for speech therapy if it had not been required of you? I don't think I would have gone for uh, therapy, because I didn't know, uh, I really no didn't even notice uh, that I had a problem never occurred to me. Since I've started, you know, taking therapy, I really noticed it. Mm -hmm. well, my speech so far has been improving, you know. I've been in therapy since, uh, well, not September. And I have been improving on my S's. And um, I do notice it more. And I am using it, you know, when I talk with my friends. And, it was in another, and it was clear to everybody that the tenor had the right tempo. And another time, this particular conductor um, did a performance at Bohem that just completely deadened everything because the tempos were either too slow or too fast or inconsistent, but the whole opera was ruined. And um, in any event, in uh, the Kindertoten later um, on Thursday night, uh, Alice was singing, and I noticed that something sounded awfully peculiar. And I didn't like it. It sounded very chopped up. Okay, uh, let's continue what we're talking about related to the conductor and his problem with tempo. Mm -hmm. And now let's uh, ease back a little bit on the uh, articulation. Let's get your best performance. Now. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> so anyway, um, but it really bothered me. And later on, when I spoke to Alice, I, um, you know, I told her about it, that the, that the first song sounded very chopped up. And she, she said, well, you know why? I said, why? She said she had to take breaths in the middle of the phrases, and everything fell apart. Beth, I'd like for you to tell me about some of the reasons you came to our speech clinic this summer. Would you tell me? Yeah. Tell me some of the reasons why you're here. Because I have to learn, and I have to be reading lip, and I have to um, learn to do all the work 
the people that understand me, that duo. And try to remember to put in the final sounds and the sounds of d and g. There's a place for you away from duties, diapers, and what I what do I do now, mommy? Away from an iron dust and melting button. Away from die guess who's coming to dinner and is that a gray hair. All right, thank you. Start with when you get up in the morning and explain everything you do until you go home from the exchange home in the uh, go home from the clinic in the afternoon. If I um, get up, I put my clothes and make my bed and go in the um, restroom and put my teeth and I put I, I put my toothbrush in my room and go turn to the TV. Else. TV that early in the morning? I wish I could get up and look at TV that early. In the morning. Why don't you go look at TV? We don't. I mean, we only sit here. Oh, you sit in the TV room until when? Two for breakfast. Okay, and uh, and then you go to breakfast. And we go down to the bedroom and play a little bit, and we can go to school. How do you get to school? Mr. Greg. You walk with Mr. Gray? Me right in the bus. Okay, and you go to school until what time? 8.30. How old are you? Uh... That's nice. Papa. How old are you? Ah. How old are you? How old are you? How big are you? How many? How big are you? Count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're seven. Mm -hmm. What is he doing? Uh -huh. He's he's making something. What is he making? Uh -huh. A nail. A nail, and what is that? Uh -huh. Hammer. Uh -huh. Look at that one. You should like that one. Huh? Who is he? Huh? He's a baker. What is he making? Huh? What is he making? Huh? A what? Huh? A cake. Maybe a birthday cake? Bobby had a birthday, didn't he? Yes, you did. Because I came to your birthday party. Not B. Yes, you did have a birthday. Not beef tea. Not what? Not beef. Oh, not a pink birthday cake? What color was your birthday cake? Red. Brown. Brown. Red. Yes. Was it big? Yeah. Y yeah. What's happening in that picture? A mom yeah, bought me a bottle. At the dad and... The mom is pumping the water in the dad's hands? Yeah. And what is dad doing? Wait me and? Dad's washing his hands. Oh. Let's try another one, okay? How many do you have there? Four. Okay, look at the first one and tell me what's happening. Uh oh, it's running. The horse is running, okay? Uh, the horse is walking. Okay. What is the boy doing? The boy is uh, not many nails. The boy is doing what? Not many. Stopping him down, okay. What's happening in this one? His hat blew off. His hat blew off? A flew off? Flew off. Flew off. Okay. And it got about no help. And 
and he's about to fall off. Okay. And the horse ran away. And the horse ran away. Jim, why don't you talk a little bit about why you came into the clinic, uh, the problems that were bothering you when you first became aware of them? Well, I knew for a long time that I had trouble with my speech. And I uh, got a small business, and I went to enlarge it. And I thought it would be an advantage if I tried to help my speech some. What kind of work do you do? Full covering. And when did you get started in that? In 1963. Get enough work to keep you busy? Yeah. Good. Uh, is this work that you do just in your home community, or do you move around the state some? Well, we've got about three counties that we cover. We've got Morgan, Monroe, and Owen County. Morgan, Monroe, and Owen, huh? They're all in the same area, though, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Okay. What are your plans for your business? You said you wanted to expand it. Uh, well, what way do you want to expand it? We want to open up a place where we sell. Now, all we do is uh, insulation. Okay, you want to sell? Mm -hmm. What we, What is it you'll be selling? Uh, carpet and an OEM towel. Okay, do you have to go and get yourself educated into these things before you can sell them, or do you already know? No, you just pick them up by walking. The different fibers, you pick those up by walking with them. Mm -hmm. The types of fiber and how they're made, and yeah. which one you use for different areas. And for mm -hmm. When do you plan to go into the expansion? Soon? Uh, no, it'll be uh, next spring if we go. Okay, and you're interested in improving your speech so uh, you turn out to be a better salesman, huh? Yeah. Okay, what kind of responses have you gotten to your speech? What kinds of uh, comments do you get from people? Well, they're not. You know, uh, most people are pretty nice about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes you have trouble on telephone calls. And, uh, okay, and they end up doing what on the calls? How do you know they're having trouble? Well, they ask you to repeat, but it, most of the time we can work it out. Mm -hmm. What things do you do to uh, make your speech better when people say, you know, they can't understand or they ask you to repeat? Well, I try to slow down and go over it. Okay, does it seem to help if you slow down? Yes, sometimes. What's your first name? Cora. Mm -hmm. And how old are you? I am 23 year old, years old. Where do you come from? Nice and slowly. 32, 32, Wayne Road, Falls Church, Virginia. Would you say the name of the state again? Virginia. Try it this way. Virginia. Virginia. How old are you? I am 23 years old. Years old. That's better. Yeah. All right. Tell me again some of the things you like to do and see if you can say it more slowly and more clearly. I like to go I like to ride the roller coaster and the fair wheel in carnival. Would you read that this time? Yes. I'll read it. And make it nice and slow. I like to ride the roller coaster, the roller coaster, and other rides, and other rides. At the, at the carnival. Not this word. Carnival. Carnival. Better. All right. I want you to say these words and make me understand which one you're saying. So say them clearly and slowly and make each one different. 
bat. A baseball bat? That's a bat. Say it again. Pat. Pat. Like I pat the dog. Mm. Hat. Hat. An Easter hat. Yeah. Sat. I sat down. Fat. Too fat. Yeah. I'm in the school of education, majoring in special edu education. What uh, exactly do you want to teach? When I graduate, I don't really know what I want to do with my degree. I'm not really excited about teaching. I hope I can specialize in a field. When I entered education, I, I wanted to teach um, disadvantaged children. And I still want to work with disadvantaged children, but not as teaching them. Mm -hmm. I, I want to um, take a lot of psychology courses and do something with psychology. I'm sure it will, my future would interfere with my goals because um, I would always be self-conscious and would it, um, it would kind of make me, um, well, I would have set my goals at as high, I don't think. I'm a sophomore here, a second semester sophomore. When I was in the first and second grade, I had speech therapy, but then we moved, and the, where we moved did not have a speech therapist. I would like to um, console disadvantaged children, but um, I would also like to give um, psychology tests to disadvantaged children. Um, when I first started college, I wanted to be a psychologist. But then I realized that um, I would have to talk to people. And I figured with my um, speech handicap, I could really relate to them. So that's why I changed my major to education in hopes that I could give tests, psychology tests in schools, and kind of work behind the scenes where it doesn't matter if I talk to people.